Hey friends, this is Lori and I had somebody who was asking, Lori, tell me about your build out. So this is a 22 Forester. I got it uh, just this year, obviously it's a 22. And so I asked, um, I really wanted a van. I wanted that van life and everything, but I mean, being an educator and owning a home, you can't own a van too. So I had to go and start thinking really, really practical about, okay, what can I afford and what can I do? And so I looked on a ton of websites until I came to Bonjour Becky. And Bonjour Becky had also built out her Subaru. So she put the dimensions and measurements out um, for her build out. And with that, I was able to put it out um, to a couple friends. Hey, do you know of anybody who can do this? And it just so happens that my next door neighbor, Justin, works at a mill and he's like let me see what I can do um, he <laughs> He was incredible. I was ready to do this build out too. I had heard it took weeks and days um, to get this build out done. Um, and so I gave him the measurements and next thing I knew my build out was done in just um, literally within hours. So anyways, I think I thought I'd show it to you. So this is my Subaru. I needed um, a build out that a platform that I could sleep on. So as you can see, I've got this platform here. Um, as you can see, there's a metal thing. It is two pieces. So under here, I'm, I don't have the YouTube equipment to show everything. So, so under here, I've got two storage places um, that go way back. I'm gonna take you over here to show you that it is two pieces. This is removable out of the back of the car. You can see there's plenty of room on each side um, for materials. Um, I'm able to store things there also. And then, excuse my uh, contraption here. Um, over here is the second piece. The second piece uh, just comes, it flops on in. Um, it is actually uh, two pieces in here, if you notice. Here, I've got this, um, I just used um, a piece from the closet. And this flips over when I have my seat all the way forward. So over here, I move my seat forward. As you can see, um, I have a paddleboard. I, show, I put that in there so that you can see each of the things I use in order for myself to have um, what I want when I go camping. In order to keep this uh, piece, I just grabbed a piece of PVC pipe. I grabbed that piece from the um, uh, lumber or from uh, Lowe's. And so now I've got this contraption here that is set up. What I love about it is the amount of storage I get in here. Below here, I've got my emergency kit. I'm going to take you to the other side in a second. I'm going to show you um, the other things that I have stored. So this storage stores sideways, whereas what you saw in the back over here, this storage comes going this way. And it is amazing what I can store. Why don't I show you? Hold on a sec. All right, like I said, I'm using, I'm not a YouTuber, so. Um, over here, I have my long, what I like to call my long case. And in my long case over here, I have like really my camping essentials. So, um, <laughs> you know, like a hammock. Uh, I have a mosquito net. I have an air pump. I have a mattress, um, a blow up mattress in case I need it. Um, I, I will show you in a minute what I actually use though. It's much more comfortable. This is my sleeping bag. I keep it, everything in dry storage. Um, uh, yeah, I've got all kinds of straps. I also have a water filtration system just in case I'm someplace that I need water filtration. Um, I have a blow up pillow along with the pillow that I have inside. I have wash rags because I become a dirty, stinky bitch after a while. Um, and then always things like your mosquito repellent, my trash liners. Um, I have a mosquito netting, which I really love because I like to open up my sunroof, but I don't want the mosquitoes. At night, I like to look up at the stars and it's really cool if it's a beautiful night or it's hot. I can put this mosquito netting over the top. Um, I probably will get magnets to make sure that it stays on more secure. I figured that out. But in this um, container, I have like everything I need um, and plenty of room if I want to store more. And this just fits like I showed you under here. It's got wheels and I store it over here. Well, of course, now we're going to play a game work. There we go. All right. So over on this side, though, this is where I've got some smaller containers going on. Um, and I will show you those as soon as this stands up right. Okay. So over here, I have one of my favorite things. I'm going to show you my favorite things in a minute. Um, but I have my stove. And in this box, I have all my cookware, including I just stuck a bunch of bars and stuff, but I also have um, my canola all over, my starter, some aluminum foil, my cast iron, a uh, couple little cast iron skillets, 
And then also in here, I just went to REI and I bought the camp set of like a little couple um, pans um, and it all fits in here. It's super amazing. In the back one, this is how much storage I have. I also have, oh my goodness, this one's a little dirtier, but I, in here I just have some other essentials I think I might need. Um, I don't have a dog right now, but I have dog bags just in case one lands with me. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and then I also have, like, I have a journal in here. I literally have some uh, uh, watercolor pencils my daughter gave me. I have some really random stuff. I have a little itty bitty, I don't know if you can see these, but those actually you add water and they are toilet paper. So I've got a little mini bungee cords, things like that. This, is, this one's totally random. Um, and so I store all of that there. So when I am out and I am setting up, I actually have um, a yoga mat I put on this side. This is my storage side and on this side. So what I did was I just bought these boxes. These are those just canvas boxes. Um, I, I've got my old cutting board in there. So this one, obviously, this is where I store food, um, my dry food. So my, I don't know, bread, avocados, things like that. I'll go in here. If it's quite a bit, um, you probably never want more than a couple days food in your car anyways, because it kind of goes bad. And then I have two more of those boxes. Um, one is for clothes. I roll my clothes so that they don't wrinkle. Um, and then I also have, I don't know, just random, whatever else I need. Um, I always keep the, the your uh, reusable um, grocery bags in my car for my dirty clothes so that those stay safe. Sorry about that. We're having a good time with this setup. Um, all right, so um, on the other side, in order to keep privacy, I'll take you to the other side of the car um, and my other storage, because over here in this side storage, these are some fun things also. In here, I have a chair, but one of the things that I really, really love is my WeatherTech um, window covers. My WeatherTech window covers give me privacy. They fit in every single window. I'm not going to lie. They're not cheap, but they, um, I built out ones last time and I was like, is it really worth my time and money? Um, cause it took me a lot of time to sew my last ones for my Acura. I have an MDX, but these are really cool. It comes in a case. Um, and, uh, there's two sides to it. There's black or there's silver. Um, depending on what you want. I like the black side out. So if I am trying to be in a place like a neighborhood or something, um, I don't want to take them all out right now, but I can show you those in a minute. Um, but I can take those out. Um, I put them in the, uh, every single window and I get my privacy. I can dress in my car if I want, which um, really, <laughs> uh, when I first started, I struggled because I fought it, right? I fought that, but I was just like, all right, just relax. And so now it's easy for me if I really, really have to um, change clothes, um, I can do that. But I also bought one of those uh, that pop up. Uh, changing stations, but I will tell you I have like not slept nights because I haven't wanted to put my pants on to go out and go pee I'm so lazy. So truth is truth um, Over here. This is my Yeti X24. Um, I love it. I move my seat forward to put it in um, As you can see, it's not super huge. It keeps a couple days of food cold um, But that's a great storage sometimes if I feel like I'm gonna be out for a long time I will use this for food and then I will bring a smaller one um, for beverages for like my beers and my soda or whatever I've got. I'm not a big soda fan, but anyway, so let's talk about a few of my favorite things. Um, in order to sleep, I have to have a bed and I think my favorite thing and my big giant luxury was I think uh, this mattress was um, $100 is what I think I paid for it, um, but it's super worth it. It's a trifold. I'm going to take some of this stuff out real quick. <clears throat> oh, I can show you. I do. Um, I'll take the chair out for a second. Um, I keep these bad boxes are stored to the side here. Um, and then this is my... So each of these boxes goes to the side and they line up there. It looks quite pretty. And then over here is my trifold mattress. Um, it stores like this um like this and then when i open it up uh it actually is amazing it's uh it's lined so that you don't get the moisture from it um it literally is my favorite thing i've had covid um the last few weeks and so i didn't know i had it when i was working up in the mountains and um literally this mattress like felt like home it is super duper soft 
you can see um, and it just folds out so I shall show you and then I just lay my sleeping bag on it um, I'm I've got a sheet for the top of it although the truth is I haven't been using that and then I just fold it into the car like so anyways it's super easy to use um, it doesn't look so clean right now I need to clean that up and then I just add that in so uh, it makes for it, it is it's a thick mattress you can see it doesn't give me as much headroom but I don't really care I'm really at night I want to be in a bed that's super comfortable um, and not have to worry about a lot of that stuff all right so I told you I would show you a few of my favorite things so let's get to that so I'm gonna start with my camp stove I love my camp stove um, oh two of the things I forgot to show you um, when my bed's here is that I have got these amazing slide out tables I usually have the mattress in farther um, these are my slide out tables they are amazing there's two of them that come out and so I can work from either side here that I want to work from. Um, we are going to go over here. I'm going to show you my camp stove um, and my favorite things. So my camp stove is a Eureka and it is absolutely incredible. It sets up super quick. Um, and I got it at, I believe I probably got it online, but you can also pick up uh, Eureka is one of the REI brands that they use. Um, put that back usually, but this is, it just takes, a little um, butane canister. Um, I got one that I felt was comfortable. I was worried about carrying a canister, but this is triple walled. It just fits in here. There is a little clicker. I click it in, I push it down, and now all of a sudden, watch this. Bam, I've got heat already. Let's not catch my bed on fire. Uh, but right now I've got some, this is one of my favorite things also. This is a pour over uh, little uh, kettle. And so I discovered something so incredible. I don't know about you, but I hate the camp coffee. I'm not a fan of the little instants. Um, I've tried and tried and it just, they're just gross. I'm sorry. So I'm heating up water right now to show you my Kuju coffee. I found these. Um, so Kuju um, coffee is a pour over and I discovered this um, they've been putting them in my um, race entry bags forever and I just have never ever um, pulled them out and this time I was like hey why not so my Kuju coffee um, goes straight over my coffee mug like so and all you have to do is rip open the top like so and then it creates your coffee right there. Um, I Some of you may have seen it when I camped last. I took pictures of it, but I'm gonna show you a little bit about how easy that is. But in the meantime, let's talk about some of my other favorite things. I um, purchased a Jackery. This is the Jackery Explorer 240. Oh my gosh, this thing gives me so much security feeling. Like I really, as a woman traveling, it it's, it's scary that's why I don't camp in a tent anymore and I use my car because I can set the alarm while I'm inside of it um, my Jackery gives me the power for whatever I need literally um, I was on a four-day trip to born to run where there's no electricity no running water just porta potties and um, my Jackery allows me to overhear any USB port so I could charge my phone um, it's got a car cigarette lighter um, if you if that's what your source is um, and it's got other input but what's really really cool about this um, when I turn it on it lets me know how much battery I've got charged um, and literally people from BTR they all charge their phones on this um, it was prom night and I wanted my hair to be curled so I was able to plug in my curling iron I mean uh, we plugged in a lot of stuff on this and I still came back with 75% of the battery being used it is one of the greatest tools um, it was worth every single penny that there is. I love that also. So my Jackery, my stove, and then um, a, a while ago on sale, I just bought a um, Hydro Growler. And this is, I don't use for beer. I actually use it as water storage. It gives me cold water for a couple days, whenever I can find a source. It just is, um, gives me really clean water and it makes me super happy. 
Um, and so those are a few of my favorite things. I can pack a ton of stuff. This is a long video, but uh, my water's already ready to go. I pour over this little packet like this for my coffee, put that back on, let it continue to heat, let it drip, and then I'm just able to cook my breakfast or whatever else. But those are a few of my favorite things. I hope that you get outside because our bodies are not meant to sit in front of screens that I'm on right now. Um, they are meant to be outside and there are so many beautiful places. Oh, one last thing. I'm sure you saw my flamingo lights. Those light up my car. I've got the, um, they're just batteries and I uh, uh, wrapped them up on my, um, what do they call those? Oh fuck, handles, right? I just wrapped it up with a shoelace. And that is, when I'm laying in bed, that gives me the opportunity to turn on and off my lights. I always have toilet paper. Um, you'll, <laughs> there's toilet paper in the handle of, uh, right next to there because you just never know when you're gonna go. But um, those are the things I take when I go camping. I can go anywhere I want. I can even camp in a neighborhood if I have to, put up my blinds and uh, get out and have a good time. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, uh, just email me on the YouTube um, or message me or whatever it is you do on YouTube. And I will put the links for the Jackery and the mattress um, and that Eureka. Have a great time out there, friends. I love your faces.